I'm super excited because I'm going to be talking about the Fawn Design Motherhood Bundle. I've been wanting this diaper bag forever and I got it and I'm excited to share it with you. So um, obviously baby is not here yet and this is not a review. This is more like a first impressions and just talking about what I thought of it when I originally opened the box. So if you are interested and you've been wanting one of these diaper bags, definitely stick around and see what all comes with this gorgeous bag and what is included in the motherhood bundle. <laughs> things first this diaper bag is an investment it's definitely not cheap um, it's one of those times where I really did my research before I jumped into buying one um, but it's a diaper bag that I've been wanting since we first started trying to get pregnant um, two years ago almost two years ago and I knew that I really wanted it. But again, I did a lot of research. I watched a lot of YouTube videos, looked at a lot of websites for diaper bags because I'm just not really the type of person to buy something really, really expensive unless I can justify why. So I got um, the original diaper bag in the color blush. Um, but I actually got the Ultimate Motherhood Bundle that comes with a few extra stuff. So the bag itself is $170 and then the Ultimate Motherhood Bundle is normally $277.95. Um, as I'm filming this, it's currently on sale for about $250 with the code Let's Bundle. Um, because they just did a big restock so an investment for sure because I mean we have another diaper bag that I got pretty early on in this pregnancy I saw a deal on Amazon and it was I want to say like $15 <laughs> and I'm sure that it's just as capable and just as well as this diaper bag, but I love bags. Bags are something that I do tend to spend on. Um, I'm a big Kate Spade lover, so I knew that with this baby, um, this is my rainbow baby, I wanted to get myself a gift, a bougie diaper bag, and this is what I would consider bougie, spending this amount of money. So. It comes with, you know, the bag, the original size, which is humongous. And then um, it comes with the bottle holder, stroller straps. Uh, or no, this was the, um, oh, this was, this is the stroller hooks. This is the... crossbody strap, um, passy holder, and a little uh, wipe case, and then I'm missing one more. Uh, changing clutch um, that has the foldable changing pad in there. So we'll go over more of this in a bit. Man. I'm out of breath. Okay, so I, this is definitely not an unboxing because when I first got it in the mail, I was just way too excited and I couldn't wait to make the video to unbox it. So I've already like looked at everything, um, but you know, this is, I guess the second impressions um, video because I've already looked at it but I've not like tried putting anything in there um, and I've not kind of gone over it in detail and whatnot I've not taken any of the tags off I've not taken like any of the little um, protectors on the 
zippers. So, so yeah. First off, everything, or just about everything, um, came in like a duster bag. So you, this is the big one that the actual bag came in. Um, the clutch came in a duster bag. And then the bottle holder. But the stroller hooks is in a box. And there was a box for the passy holder, but I already took that one off. I'm obsessed with this color and it matches um, P's room so well. Like there's definitely like a blush pink theme, kind of like boho neutrals too. Um, I didn't want to go with the black or the brown just because I, whenever I have a bag, it's usually a really neutral color, like black or brown or something to that effect. So I wanted something a little bit different. I've really been into pink lately, especially since I found out I was having a girl. So I decided to get the pink. My husband was not thrilled. He's definitely not my husband was not thrilled. He'll definitely be carrying the other diaper bag um, because it's just like a normal like gray color. Um, so it won't look girly. Um, so yeah, he'll be probably carrying that one. And it looks just like a backpack that he has anyway. So it matches his style. But me on the other hand, so much space. I'm gonna read you the dimensions and then I'll probably change like the camera view whenever I start going through everything so you can see inside it. So like I said, I got the blush color and whenever you buy a bundle, you can't mix and match the colors. If you get a blush bag, you have to get like the blush accessories. You can't mix and match with black, brown, cheetah print and all that stuff. And they just restock their cheetah print and it's pretty cute. I'm not into it, but it's cute. Okay, the bundle, even when it's not on discount, you're still saving $30 whenever you bundle everything together. And like I said, it includes the original bag, the changing clutch, stroller hooks, bottle bag, and passy case made of premium pebbled vegan leather, which I like that a lot. Signature matte gold hardware and zippers. I do love the gold hardware. So the dimensions of the bag, the original bag, 13 inches tall, 15 inches wide, and 8 inches deep, and it's about 4 pounds, so it's pretty heavy on its own. And yep, and it's got a lot of really great reviews. So that is the basics of the bag. Just a good look at the bag and it comes folded up in the box and it doesn't look too cute um, until you unfold it and then like stuff it a little bit so that it can start taking shape. So just so you're aware of that. Boom. That's a big boy or a big girl. Whatever it wants to go by. So yep. Um, first, I'll run through the accessories, and then we'll dig into that. First thing, and it's so cute, I actually have one that um, I got from Itsy Ritzy that's very similar to this, but is the Passy holder. I love a little tassel on it, that's a cute touch. So that's it, and it can clip on to like the side of the bag. It has the matching hardware. And then what I do enjoy about it is the lining of it. Because it's, you know, that like foil, um, super easy to clean, I would assume. Because I've had little things like this before, like when Jack was a baby and it was always super easy to clean. And it would be easy to like sterilize with um, like antibacterial wipes or whatever so that you can wipe it out in between like changing passies or if like <laughs> baby has a passy and has gotten gunk and milk and whatever all over it and it makes this a mess you can wipe it out and you're good to go 
So that is the passy holder. And on the front, it says fun stroller hooks. We'll just look at it. Um, I've not even like really taken it out of the box, but it's just super simple. So here's what they look like. And they have like the Velcro. Super easy to like take on and off. Um, yep. So those are easy peasy. Love it. And then on both sides, it's got like the FD for fawn design. And then this um, comes in the bag whenever you get it. But this is just like the crossbody strap. I'm just gonna put that next to the bag for right now. And then this is the bottle holder. It's a good size. It um, obviously has this little loop up there. The hardware matches like the passy holder with the tassel. And then I also inside has like the foil lining so obviously with bottles they leak and or you could put snacks in here snack bags can leak and you know make a big mess so you can easily clean it out the clutch um it does not have a tassel it just has like a normal little thingamabob um, it does have this on the side. Let's see if you can focus on that. I believe, maybe I'm wrong. Yes, it comes with a little strap so you can use it as a wristlet. Um, so let's see what this looks like on. I really do love the hardware. Like it's matte, but it's not so matte that it's, um, that it looks dull. Like it's still got like a really pretty sheen to it. So this is what that looks like. It's a pretty, it's a decent size, especially like when you're fitting this changing mat, because this is a thick boy, for real. It's, um, like even when it's completely unfolded, it's still like really thick. So that should be good to use, like a good quality. Because I've had changing mats in the past, like when Jack was a baby, that was just they got ruined super easily. Like you, it, they were difficult to wipe down. So anyways, this was, and it's got um, the fawn on the front. And then the changing mat, let me fold it back up. If I can figure out how to fold it back up. When you first take it out of the clutch, this is what it looks like. So, a little snap, and then it's got fawn there on the bottom. And when you unfold it, let's scoot back so you can see how big this thing is. And it feels like it's easy to wipe down. We'll see, um, cause it, it does have like the pebble to it, the pebbled feel. And I have a few Kate Spade bags um, here recently, or two Kate Spade bags um, that are also like pebbled. 
and um, there was an unfortunate case with some chocolate milk a few days ago that got onto my Kate Spade backpack, just a little like mini backpack. And because of the pebble texture, it was a little difficult to get the milk like out from the um, little crevices um, of like the pebble. So we'll see how this goes. That, I cannot, sip it. Or, there we go, okay. So there's that. We'll see how easily it goes in here. The inside of the clutch also has like a fabric. It's not one that you could easily wipe out. Like, oh. If it's very nice and you still like, if you wanted to put a couple of diapers in there, you could totally do that. Oh yeah. The wipes case. Let's see how this fits in here. So I've not even opened this yet. It's just like a normal like plastic case. It says Palm Design on the front. It feels honestly pretty cheap, but I mean it's just a wipes case. this just because it's one that was difficult to get open and it's I mean it, I guess it's pretty secure I don't know it just doesn't seem like the type of quality that would be able to like you could put a few wipes in here maybe enough to last you for a couple of days and it'll be fine but I don't know that I would want to use this all the time to carry wipes around just because it doesn't seem like the best quality like i feel like they would dry out really easily but that's when you open that part see what i mean like it's just mm, i don't know but it also fits in there and closes super, super easily. And you still have room for maybe a couple of diapers if you wanted to put some diapers in there. Let's just see. I've been stocking up um, on some newborn diapers. Look how little. Look. I love it. it. Smells like newborn tissue. So I've got the changing mat folded up in there, wipes case. And here's three Pampers newborn size diapers. Just hold it up. So I'm just gonna put it right there. Let's see how it does. That's snug. Yeah, I'm not gonna put three. Let's see if two works. Two works much better. So two diapers, the changing pad, and the Fawn Design wipes case. But I don't think I'm gonna be using the wipes case that comes with it. Like I said, seems kind of cheap. But it is like really nice and thoughtful that they would include something like this. So that way, like you literally have everything you need, like all the accessories that you would need with your diaper bag. Um, for, you know, passy, bottle, wipes, changing stuff. I don't think I'm gonna use it. But, yeah, I love it, love the clutch. So now I'm going to change the camera position so that um, you can look inside the bag while we look at all the pockets and stuff like that. So let's do that. Okay. So here is 
the Fawn Design Original Diaper Bag. So this is the original size, not the mini. And first I'll show you. I already had it unzipped, but so. love the details on it. I'm a detail person for sure. I'm also, I'm going to go ahead and put the crossbody strap on so you can see. So that's what that looks like. And then the backpack straps down here. I'm not going to bother trying to strap that because I don't feel like trying to deal with the the plastic just yet. I'll do that after whenever I show you what it looks like on. But you can tuck these down in there. And there's still, even when like you tuck them in, like a ton of room. So you can still put stuff down there. And then it's got like the magnetic clasp. And even, I don't know if you can see this, but the magnetic clasp here even has plastic over it, which I think is cool because these, like when they're overused, they can like tend to get worn down and don't work as well. So I'm probably just gonna leave that on there for as long as I can. And then, boop, boop, boop. Okay, so here she is of the shape and I love that this is on top so that you're not like opening up the front like other diaper bags do and everything just falls out. Um, so, Front pocket here, super easy to zip. And like I said, I still have like the plastic covering on there. But this is just a small little pocket. This would be good for, this is the iPhone um, 11, like the original, it's not like the large or anything. Let's see, that fits literally perfect. I, there's still like a little bit room, of room in there, so if I have like a thin case, it would slide in well. But chunky cases, probably not. So this would be good probably for like um, a small wallet, money, what have you, just little things. Um, so yeah, very, very small, but we can find a use for it. And then I'll just, oh yeah, there's this pocket. It goes down to the bottom. This is perfect for boop phone. And you know, let's just put gummy bears because I'm stuck on gummy bears. So your gummy bears can fit in here. Oh no. Those are good. Mm-mm. Gummy bears. So this one does not clasp, does not zip, it's just reach in. So this one I think would be good. Um, I'll probably put like my wallet and my phone in this one. Just because I don't have to worry about unzipping it or anything. Maybe. It depends on what we're doing I guess. but. That's a good size. Snacks can fit also. And it does not stretch or anything. It's just like that. And then side pockets. They're like pretty. They go down like pretty far in depth. But like I said, they don't stretch out like at all. So let's see. Phone. That's a good place for a phone. And for larger phones too, you know, for those people who have like the Max or whatever they're called these days. Um, my water bottles that I have definitely would not fit in there at all. Yeah, definitely not. So, got two of those, no clasps, just straight pocket. And then um, this... back 
one zips really easily unzips really easily this goes to right here this is where my finger is in there so it doesn't go completely it's a couple of maybe an inch and a half two inches from going all the way to the end which is no big deal but this is good um maybe if you don't like keeping your wallet like in the front or inside it would be good to hide right there or it'd be good for like travel maybe putting a passport or something in there pretty easy access i don't know whatever whatever you want man or you could also if you wanted to use your clutch for something else let's see how this fits yeah the changing pad fits perfectly back here this may be what they made it for i don't know um but if you wanted to use this to put like i was thinking about putting like clothes and stuff in there like her extra clothes um and maybe like a t-shirt for jack i'm not sure yet um i don't know what i'm gonna use it for um it's just so cute so this may be a good place to put the changing mat and like even when it's not zipped it's like really snug in there so it's not gonna fall out so you can just like boop, grab it and that'd be that'd be a good use for it okay and then of course you know we looked at this pocket I'm just so impressed by diaper bags these days. <laughs> so here we go into the fun part. It zips like the only time I feel like it it's difficult to get the zipper to work is when it's over here on this side. Like when you're trying to zip it back, it gets like stuck over in this corner. But once you get it over here, like there's really like no issue. Like it's so easy. Okay. The inside. So since the camera's pointed this way already, I'll just do this side. So first thing you've got like this pocket right here and it goes not quite to the bottom but pretty far let's see how a newborn diaper fits in there so a newborn diaper like you can't even like see it so it's pretty deep but not completely to the bottom let's see a wipes case so that's like how the wipes case would fit in there if you use this one. And along like this part is a little zip. So it's very small. This would be ideal for like little tiny things that you may not reach for a lot like nail clippers or something like that. Um, boogie wipes, I don't know. And then there's also a little keychain holder thing it's not one of those i really like the diaper bags and other types of bags where this is like on a strap like connected to a strap and you can that way like you can just fish for the strap and then pull your keys up um so this one does not have that but it's just attached very closely right here and this sometimes I've noticed in diaper bags, this back pocket will sometimes fold up. This one does not, but that's okay. And then over here on the side, we've got a pocket. Let's see, goes down pretty far. This would be, this looks like a good size um, for like a small water bottle maybe. And then next to it is bigger, like a wider pocket. So let's see how a diaper fits in this one. I think this is probably a good diaper pocket. So. 
we've got that pocket there that whole can hold diapers. Okay. So that's better. This is a better look. So we've got these two here that are a little bit more wide. And then the um, water bottle size ones, I would say, like the, um, they're not as wide over on the sides. So you have another pocket over here. And then like this sucker is like, it just, you could fit so much stuff in here. I have her blanket right here. This was from Etsy. This is so cute. I'm not gonna show her middle name yet, but it's got like rainbow and I love like the little beaded feel to it. And then the back is rainbows. Cause she's our rainbow baby. I love this so much. Um, this was a gift from my best friend, Rachel. Um, the average baby blanket size. And it's not too thick, but it's decent. And it fits perfectly down in the bottom. And then, let's see. Let's put the um, changing pad back in here. Stick it in there. So still tons, tons of room. You could throw in some diapers. Still tons of room. Put your water bottle over here, your booger wipes over here, your regular wipes here, clothes, teethers, all the fun stuff. Wallet, I mean, it just, I feel like this is the Mary Poppins bag. Like you could just put everything in here and it's gonna close comfortably. It's, ugh. But it is heavy. I will. I will say that. I don't know if my poor little scoliosis spine should be carrying it, but you know what? It's fine. So I'm just gonna take this stuff out. Doop. So yeah, that is the inside. And then we just close it back up. And there she goes, my baby and my other baby. So stinking cute. I can't wait to use this. I've like been looking at these forever and I'm so glad I bought it. Um, well, right now I'm glad I bought it. But so this is, let's see, that's just so freaking adorable. I'm gonna add this in real quick. If you don't get the motherhood bundle and you don't get this, Itsy Ritzy makes a passy holder that is literally just like this. So it's a, a little bit more affordable um, than this one. So that's that. So that is the Fawn Design Motherhood Bundle with the original diaper bag in blush. I'm so happy with this right now. Um, I'll do a review later on several months from now because little girl is not due until late September. I'm hoping that, you know, she'll not come any earlier and not any later um so late september but i'm probably going to use this as her hospital bag and then i have my own hospital bag um i think maybe i'll do a video like a what's in my hospital bag this is my second baby um but it's been several years since i've had jack he 
is seven, almost eight. He'll be turning eight after she is born, just days after she is born. And I don't know, like I almost feel like I'm starting from scratch. Like I have no idea. I was 18 years old or well, I had just turned 19 when I had Jack. So I was a baby myself having a baby and I don't remember a lot that <laughs> that I packed. I remember having fuzzy socks and a robe and my phone. That's all I can remember. Everything is very blurry from back then. So I've been preparing and doing a lot of research with this baby. And I think it's also because where I've had so many miscarriages, I just have turned into a very overly prepared person um and you know what it makes me feel better so that's that's what i'm doing so i'm watching all the youtube videos i'm doing all the research blogs talking to other moms um and yeah so preparing and i have my hospital bag i might do a hospital bag video later on um, and then I'll do a review after a couple of months after she's born with the diaper bag um, and stuff like that. And then I really, once the nursery is done, I would like to do a nursery room tour because I have poured my heart and soul into this room. So as my husband, he's, him and my sister painted, um, and my husband ripped up the carpet and put down the flooring and it looks gorgeous. And we've just been working really hard to get our dream nursery. So thank you so much uh, for watching this. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I didn't ramble on too much about nonsense. I was just so excited about this bag and her fits like <sighs> anyways I hope I didn't ramble too much I was just so excited for this bag I've been dying for it for quite some time now and I'm super excited I don't know how many times I've said that I am pumped um, and I can't wait to put all of this to use I can't wait for my little girl to be here and to wrap her up in this blanket. So, um, if you liked this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. I would love it if you would subscribe and show some support because this is such a wonderful journey and I'm excited to share it. And I hope that you enjoy learning about me and my family. But if there is anything else um, that you want to know that you'd like to see, go ahead and leave a comment and, you know, let me know because I would like to post relevant content that people actually want to see. But I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you are safe and healthy and I will see you in the next video.